I'm Wade here. Welcome to Wade 2025. Leave your comments on CWU-TV or on YouTube and CWU-TV Network on Facebook. There you can leave your comments and we'll be glad to air those comments. And we'd like to invite all the candidates, particularly the candidates running for Hines County Board of Supervisor. Uh, we're gonna be doing some live shows in February. If you wanna be a part of that, be interviewed uh, in the 10 minute segments, you're welcome to contact us here at CWU-TV on YouTube and we will get back with you. All right, finishing up where we were uh, left off, we were talking about what authority do I have to say the things that I say and why do I use the word Negroes and why do I, first of all, if that's all you're concerned about is the word Negro, who told you to be upset with the word Negro? Because Negroes who brought us through, those are the ones who really paid the price, really made the sacrifice. Those were the ones who were constantly up under the course degradation of the white Democrat party and its power grip they had on our government that was brought to bear on our dreams and aspirations here in this country. And yet you ace deuce with the Democrat party, but you upset with the Negroes, bruh, with all due respect, I'm going to continue to use it. And I'm going to cut the pie down the middle. Yes. People say, well, Kim, how do you expect people, even if you were going to run for mayor, who do you think is going to vote for you with the things that you say in the way that you say it? Hoss, let me make this clear. Number one, any candidacy for the mayor or governor or any, any position is to educate, elevate, and uplift. I want to raise the gaze of our people. Right now, you got folks pandering to people's worst fears, their jealousies, their emotions. Uh-uh, you got to grow. You got to stand up. You got to be a man. You got to be a full grown man to accept the messages that you hear me saying or even listen to them. Because at the end of the day, look at the mess we got. All y'all want to be liked. You want people to, to call your name. They're going to call my name anyway. They may curse it when they call it, but I can live with that. Because at the end of the day, the responsibility to, deli to deliver the message that's been laid on my heart clear in an unvarnished format is my responsibility. When the FedEx driver or the UPS driver drops a package off at your house, he doesn't stand there and wait to see what your reaction is going to be when you open it. No, he delivers that message and keep it moving. So if you're upset with the things that I'm saying, my question is, why aren't you upset with all the things that are going wrong in our community? Oh, well, you're putting all our business out there for white folks to see. Oh, so people can't see this foolishness? We had a hundred and something murders here in the city of Jack, 133 this year and 100 and almost 150 something last year. The state auditor, Shad White, is saying that each murder cost the people of Mississippi $1 million plus. That's the cleaning up the crime scene, the investigation, the court system, the whole nine yards. $1 million. So we had 133 last year. So the citizens of Hines County, how much is that? That's $133 million. And that's happening every year. Where do you think the money's coming from? This is why I'm telling you, we're going to be discussing those things that we as a people can do that doesn't cost a dime. We got to change our attitude. We got to acknowledge the fact that we're living in sin and it's killing our people. It's killing our community. It's killing our schools. It's killing everything we value and hold dear. And I'm just saying, I don't need permission from anybody to tell you we're not doing this anymore. You didn't ask permission for me to tear this thing up. And a lot of the attitudes that we're going to be addressing, I'm going to give you an example. There was an opposition to uh, Midtown Charter School leasing out the old Rowan Middle School there on Ash Avenue. And a group of blacks, older blacks, who obviously grew up in that area or whatever, and they just didn't want it, charter schools, because they said charter schools are taking over everything, they're taking money, and it's for profit. Baby, everything anybody do is for profit. Why do you think they call me get paid way? I got to get paid, just like you. You ain't doing nothing for free. So what you have, in that particular instance, and this is going to be more examples we can give going down the road, you had a group of old blacks who saw things the way they were back in the 60s, 70s, 80s, and whenever, 
and they wanted to keep it that way. Our schools are failing for whatever reason, and we're going to have to delve into that. And that's one of the things we're going to be doing here at CWU-TV, and that is we're going to start unbraiding and unraveling some of these things and try to get to the meat of the matter. Why these things be so? Why is this broken? Back when we were Negroes and we had separate but unequal education, people were getting a good education. Your parents and grandparents could probably uh, uh, write, read and write better than you can, and they only had a fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth grade education, and you got a PhD. Y'all know I'm telling the truth. So what I'm saying is, we're going to do what's right. We're going to do what's best for the babies and what's best for the property values. Now, let's go back to the Rowan Middle School situation. Now, Mid Midtown Charter was going to pay, I think, $80,000 a month for the school, for, to the school district for using the school. They opposed it. And one of the things that they were saying, we could turn that into a community center. We could turn that into an enterprise center. Okay, cool. No problem. I have no problem with that. So they went down to the school board and got the school board to rescind the contract that they had agreed to with Midtown uh, Middle School, I mean Midtown uh, Charter School. Now, from an economic standpoint, property value standpoint, if they had came in, turned the lights on on all that structure, the whole street would have been looking different at night. Cutting the grass, keeping it up, the whole nine yards. And the enterprise system that they said, uh, enterprise center they thought would be a good idea, the community center they think they would, that would have been a good idea, as big as Rowan Middle School, there's plenty of room for that. They could have got in there. They in a, 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 a place now where they're probably getting, uh, excuse me, they're meeting in a place now where they're probably getting for free. So look at this. Go down I Street when you get a chance and look at the neighborhood. And we had a chance to develop that. We had an anchor that could, we could have put back in there with that Midtown Charter School, turning the lights on, turning the water on, turning the heat and utilities on. And all those other rooms that weren't being used could have been used by individual church groups, some pastor trying to preach up a church. In other words, we're going to have to be more open-minded. We cannot let the compassion industry, those of you who are in the compassion industry, and those of you who have degrees in the social sciences, those of you who work on uplifting people whose grip on life might be less secure than others, appreciate all that. But you got to understand, and I wish you would appreciate that everything you say and do is not necessarily golden as, as it is with me, as it is with anyone. But you have to be open to a little uh, 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 review, if you will. Now, having that school there open and other incubators, other little business open up, just like they did over there in Fondren with the dueling school. But we are so angry. We are so quick to try to prove to everybody that we know about racism and we ain't going to let this happen. Pause. We're losing our community. We're losing our kids. Now, the whole thing about charter schools, we're going to do a show on that. But the point was that you had a group of blacks, and this is what I noticed, and I went to one of the meetings. This is what I noticed about the group of blacks that was there, and I was one of them, and I'm, I'm one of the members of the group that I'm getting ready to describe. Those blacks that were sitting there, and myself, we were the generations that the dollars fell on. We're the ones who got it, took advantage of all the set-aside programs. We got good jobs in the federal government. We got good jobs at Delphi and JSU and all the other companies out there. And we're in retirement. We're living good. And yet, we're shutting off a future generation's opportunity to have that same reach for the ring type opportunity. And it's all because of that anger. It's all because of this, you know, I want everybody to know that I'm a member of the Civil Rights Movement. It's fine, baby. But you got to understand, your issues are not your kids' issues. And the kids' issues are not yours. Everything we have to do has to, be, has to be based in my view. And if I have any ability to implement this here, it will be. It's got to be what's best for kids and what's best for property values. In that case, opening that school back up would have been good for kids and it would have been good for property values. And the school district, instead of paying money out every month, would be bringing money in. And this is the same group of people who are saying they don't want charter schools because the charter schools are taking money. And yet when they had a chance to make some money, if it wasn't but a few pennies, it's the point. So this is what we're going to be dealing with going forward, starting live in February, rather, on CWU-TV. I want you to listen in to the Way 2025 show. What we're going to be doing, we're going to take a break and we'll come back shortly. Number one, 
I am a rock rib conservative, unabashedly so. Many of you listen to the program know that. And when I talk about conservatism, do for self is as conservative as it comes. I'm a capitalist. I believe in the free enterprise system. I believe that people need to get paid. They call me get paid Wade. I want everybody to eat. Everybody's got to eat. Now here's the deal. I invite your participation going forward. I want you to continue to watch CWU TV and listen to the Kim Wade Show at WYAB 103.9 FM, WYAB.com, Monday through Fridays from four to six. Continue to listen in, add your input, and see if we can be the example for all of America to point to and say, they're doing it right down in Jackson, Mississippi. Mm. Now there's a message in there for a believer. 